Hey there guys, welcome to the next time lapse here on the channel. It is of course time for another Friday time lapse. So uh, last week I made the Saints wallet and it was pretty cool. I actually ended up using that as my personal wallet for now. Going to be making a Hunger Games themed uh, wallet for this one of course. Catching Fire comes out today of course. It's already out. It's been out for probably a um, little over a day now because probably the movie started about last night at various times. So this one is going to be an all white wallet. I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of cool things on it. So it's going to be a pretty interesting time lapse. A lot of cool stuff to be putting on here. I don't typically use the uh, the color white for wallets. It's one of those colors that just doesn't typically get worked in. And, and the last time I made a solid white wallet was a very long time ago. I can't even remember the last time I made one. So it's going to be kind of interesting. It's not a color I typically use for uh, the wallets. So I wanted to decide to make the um, the front of the wall kind of archery themed. So I got a little picture of a bow, a recurve bow, of course, just like uh, a lot of the one of the most popular forms of bows used in the movie, and of course from with archery everywhere. Put a little bit of the bowstring on. I deliberately made it a little bit larger because I wanted it to kind of um, be a little more stylish with the. Um, with the bow and you'll see with the logos later on to be kind of uh, cut off on the tops and bottoms a little bit to make it a little more stylish and you'll see that a little bit later. Can't really see what I'm doing here. I'm actually cutting out a whole bunch of arrows. I'm going to be sticking those on. Cut out the three and then after I stuck two on I realized I could really do something really cool here and you're seeing that right there. I'm trying to decide what to do and then I'm actually going to cut out a much longer one and stick that in the middle and it's going to look, uh, I think it's going to look pretty cool. So you guys will let me know if it was a good decision or not. So this one's going to go right there. So it adds a little bit of a cool, stylish, you know, flare to the front. So yeah, I made the four credit card holders. You know, those are all the same color. They're all inside there. And I'm going to start working with the Catching Fire logo first. For number one, and not only because it's the hardest, but I'm actually going to be putting this in the center, of course, with the, uh, the two on either side. And uh, I want to work on sticking that in the center and then using that as my guideline to stick the other two on opposite sides of it. Still haven't read the novel yet. I'll definitely read it before I go see the movie. I've been putting it off as long as possible so that it would be as much suspense as possible. And I, th I think I talked about this probably three or four months ago when I did a few other Hunger Games uh, related uh, videos. So that's going to be for this one. So I'll read that book pretty soon, figure out exactly what happens next. This will be, of course, the first logo I'm working on. And then I'll work on the Hunger Games logo itself and then, of course, the Mockingjay logo. And those will be coming soon. So definitely pretty cool. Just work on cutting out all those different parts on the on the inside there. And I actually did a little bit of a flub here because I, I usually, what I always tell people, and it's kind of like one of the major bits of advice I give people, is to always work on everything on the wallet, everything that you're putting into the wallet first, and then you put your your um, you know your decorations and everything on top of that. So if you're putting putting you know ID holders or credit card holders into your wallet, so you always want to do all of that first and then work on decorations. So you see, I actually did the front decoration first, and then I had to put the credit card holders in. So if you do it in that order, usually you'll get the uh, the card holders and those different pieces of tape that wrap around and cover up your uh, your logos and whatever you're putting on. So. I kind, of had, I kind of had to do a little bit of uh, working around that to make sure that it worked. So in comparison, this one's a much easier logo. It, it definitely doesn't have those, what I call the bicycle spokes on the other uh, Catching Fire logo. And uh, I'll be using, of course, the gold duct tape for this. The gold and the chrome are a little bit crazy. They don't always, you know, work out too well. They kind of bunch up a little bit more than the typical tape. But it turned out pretty cool. I think it's it's definitely the right color to use. I could have used the yellow tape, but I wanted to go with the gold. So cutting out all those in inner pieces first, then I cut out the uh, the ring, and then of course here is the entire logo. So cutting that out, peeling those up, and then of course you can see it right there. Very, very carefully going to separate these. The Hunger Game logos are actually one of the um, hardest things I've ever had to cut out and then peel up and then transfer because you got that ring around the, the side and then you have that image in the middle and it kind of just all gets all crazy and messed up when you try to pick it up off the cutting mat. So there, of course you can see it there. Now of course on to the last and final logo. This one's definitely the easiest without a doubt. So I was kind of happy that the last one was fairly simple. I just kind of glide to a stop here for the uh, last logo. So this one just cutting out the Mockingjay very simple on the electric blue tape. Could have gone with white, of course, but I can't really do that because um, 
it's of course a white wall and you wouldn't be able to see the, uh, the logo at all if I made it out of white duct tape. So I decided to go with the, uh, the blue, which is definitely the color of the novel itself, the main color. Alright, so almost there. It's getting towards the end. Definitely a very cool wall. You'll see it towards the end here. I have, always have to cut out those little pieces in between the uh, the credit card holders because right now I'm sticking all of those these uh, designs on top of the credit card holders. So I'll be trimming those up pretty soon. The top of the wing is a little messed up, but uh, if you've been paying attention, it really won't make any difference because these are actually bigger than the actual wallet. So I'll be wrapping that inside the billfold. You won't be able to see that. So now just making sure it looks good, I wanted to get the right amount of coverage for the entire logo on there, tucking that into the billfold. And now, of course, I have to cut those little spots for the credit card holders. I mean, they're already there, they're just being covered up by all of these logos. So I just need to take the hobby knife and definitely allow the credit card holders to be slipped in. So there's this, of course, is the wallet. It's the front with the bow and the arrows. A little bit of a little stub there sticking up, so I had to work on that. And then, of course, looking at the inside, looking at the inside. All right, there we go. And, of course, you have the three Hunger Games logo. So definitely pretty cool. I think it turned out really awesome with those three different colors. Definitely, um, just definitely a really cool-looking wallet, the way that they all line up. And then you've got all three representations in there. Of course, use my Burger King card to show you the credit card holders. Totally not, you know, being uh, sealed in by those designs at all because they're cut in between. And then, of course, I'm going to slip it into the very top credit card holder here, and you can see that it definitely does hold credit cards. So I hope you guys liked the video. I will catch you next time on the channel for more videos coming soon. So uh, happy Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your favor.